Hey guys, what's going on? This is Andrew here today, and we're going to be showcasing some pickups that I got from GameStop today. Before we start showcasing all the stuff, I'm going to announce right here that I am officially a GameStop employee, so that's pretty good news. I'm not sure where exactly that's going to bring me, but I am looking to get a lot of experience from these guys just to kind of see what the consumer wants and everything, because I am looking to become a game dev. I'm going to Full Sail University next year in Florida, but for now, we're starting off at GameStop, seeing how consumers like what items, what sells the best, and honestly, I want to hear feedback from customers and everything, and just being able to have that a part of my everyday life will definitely help me in the future when trying to make games for people that, you know, are part of that market. So anyway, guys, let's start looking at the games. All right, so most of these games are basically just going to attract uh, dust. They are really just to add to my shelf for the most part. I didn't really pick out anything specific that I am going to be jumping on 100% very soon, but they were very cheap since GameStop sells these for very cheap prices, so I decided to just get a bunch of them today, and everything in this minus one of the games, they were all like below $5 minus one of the games, which was 17 so we'll get into that. Let's start looking at some of these. So Disney Infinity, I know absolutely nothing about. I really don't know anything about this game whatsoever, and I probably won't even play it for quite a long time, but all I know is it has the Disney title on it, and I have heard that people aren't into this kind of game, so I just got it. It's in my PS3 collection at this point now. Uh, I'll eventually give this a shot, maybe when I'm 30, who knows, <laughs> or I'll try it out soon. I don't really know. Okay, next game on my list completes my entire... Uh, main series rhythm game collection in terms of the Guitar Hero franchise or the company that made those games. So this is DJ Hero 2. So I now have every single Guitar Hero game, I now have all the DJ Hero games, and I now have all the main mainstream rock band games. So that basically uh, concludes my thing when it comes to buying all the games for the Guitar Hero slash Rock Band slash whatever series that they have. I also have Band Hero. I also have a ton of the knockoff Guitar Hero games. In fact, I have every single one of the knockoff Guitar Hero games outside of Rock of the Dead, which I don't consider one of those because it's not the same style. You can still use the controller, but it's not the same style kind of game. Whatever it is, I now have DJ Hero 2. I have DJ Hero 1 on the Wii as well, so I figured I'd get the Wii copy of this on the Wii. Uh, because I don't have the DJ Hero board for the 360, so that just makes this uh, part of my collection. I may buy the 360 port as well, may buy a DJ Hero board for the 360 on top of that, but for now, that's a full collection for the Guitar Hero series, guys, so hell yeah. Alright, next game on my list is... I really don't know the Roman numerals for numerals for this one. I just know it's a Final Fantasy game. I'm not good at Roman numerals. I just saw that it was Final Fantasy. It was only $3. And I figured, you know what? Why not just jump on the game? I mean, everybody seems to be really into the Final Fantasy games. So I figured I'd give myself just a chance at the series because I really have never given the series a chance at all. I now have a 360 game to try out some of the... And I also have a PS2 Final Fantasy that I got from Game On all those years back without the original case, but I am now going to be, uh, you know, giving the series a shot for the first time ever. Okay, the next game on my list is actually one that I've never even heard of. This one is called Frontline's Fuel of War. So, I honestly know absolutely nothing about this game. This more than likely is... A first person shooter it may be a third person shooter honestly whatever i say here isn't going to age well so i'm not really going to say much but whatever it is this is probably going to be one of the games that i actually do end up trying because it's one i've seriously seriously just never seen never heard of so i'd be very interested to kind of just get a look at this game uh, i see on here it says exclusive code to unlock single player level inside don't really know exactly what that means and on top of that there's probably no code. Uh, I doubt there's a code on this thing at all. Does that destroy all humans? Advertisement on the back here? Coming summer 2008. Look at that. That is funny. That's actually that's actually quite funny. So yeah, um, that's a game. Really don't know anything about, but we're trying this out soon. So keep an eye out for that. Um, I'm potentially going to have it in a gameplay video where, where basically, you know, you guys know the format of my videos at this point. I talk about a topic and gameplay will be in the background. You may potentially see this, and if I do record this game, I will, you know, put the title just to show you guys that it was the game. So keep your eye out for that, I guess. Next game is Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands. So 
I have one of the Prince of Persia games on the original Xbox. I haven't played it at all, but I saw this one for only $5 in the $5 section at GameStop, and I figured, why not? I mean, it's a Prince of Persia game. These games, I've heard, are pretty good, and, you know, I know nothing about the game, just like some of the games over here, but uh, I am pretty excited to kind of jump into something like this. So, yeah, guys, that's that. Okay, so... Another game that I got, this one was actually, has some relevance to it in my collection in terms of games I've played in the past. This one is Wipeout 3. So, I used to grow up watching the show, Wipeout, all the time. It was my younger brother's favorite show for years, and we would watch it whenever it came on TV. And I believe I have either Wipeout 1 or Wipeout 2 on the 360. Here we have Wipeout 3, and, well, this is just the third game in the Wipeout series. I don't play my Kinect that much, but I am looking to get a full Kinect collection, and this is really simply just adding to that collection. So, it uh, looks like it could be a lot of fun. The only problem is I don't have a lot of room in the place that I would play the Kinect, unfortunately, but whatever it is, uh, I will probably play this game in the future when I have a bigger open space in terms of floor space where the Kinect can actually see me. Okay, next game on my list is an Assassin's Creed game once again, and as I mentioned before, I haven't played any Assassin's Creed game yet, but I do have a ton of them. This is just another game to add that collection, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, so I don't know anything about this game. I've said that probably three million times during this whole video, but uh, I figured, you know what, if I'm going to try to play through the Assassin's Creed series, I might as well just keep getting them uh, back to back and yeah, I'm gonna play this game eventually whenever I get up to it But for now, I just added it to the collection just to kind of add it But yeah, I mean I am pretty psyched to eventually jump on this so with that being said guys Let's get to the last game and the first game I saw today that was really the reason why I ended up looking around for more All right guys and that game happens to be Sonic Unleashed, which I believe I tried a very long time ago when I first got this game on the Wii. If I remember collect correctly, this was one of the games I got along with the, <coughs> the game with the rings and whatever it's called and Sonic and the Black Knight or whatever the whatever other Sonic games I had. I just remember this was the era where Sonic games were coming out and they were just not good. And the reason why that wasn't so great for my childhood is because I was getting a ton of the 3D Sonic games from, like, the GameCube and stuff that was originally on the Dreamcast that got ported over to the GameCube and then stuff like Shadow of the Hedgehog and stuff like Sonic Heroes. So those games were major, major parts of my childhood. But then later on when I started getting the newer ones, I really didn't enjoy them and I didn't play a Sonic game ever again for years on end. So basically, I wasn't very happy with most of the Sonic games, but... I did want to add this to my collection because I am looking to get a full Sonic collection once again because over the years I've become a diehard Sonic fan, so this is another game to add to that collection. I am looking to get colors eventually once again. I do have a few games I'm playing on the emulator right now and I'm playing those on my laptop on my 4K TV and they look absolutely incredible with the higher resolutions by the way, but yeah, I decided to get this one for the 360. Um, I believe it's also on the PS2, the Wii. I don't know if it's on the PS3. It probably is, but whatever it is. I got this game today. It was a little more on the expensive side. Like I said, $17, but whatever it is, I am excited to jump back into this monstrosity of a game, and I don't remember it being good at all, but I am still excited to jump into it. So anyway, guys, that's all of that. Uh, basically, my last announcement to make was that I am a GameStop employee. I made that in the beginning, and I am very excited to work under GameStop and get my experience from them. Uh, the manager was really chill who I was talking to. The other guy that got hired alongside me, uh, he also seems pretty chill. So as I've said three million times now, I am very excited to start working there. So what that means basically is I'm going to kind of stay silent about stuff about GameStop unless I'm buying games. So say like a topic comes up about them and it's like a negative topic, I'm going to avoid it. If there's a positive topic, I'm going to avoid it. I don't plan on doing any advertisement for, you know, the company on my YouTube channel. That's just not what I'm about on here. So when it comes to GameStop, I'm going to stay silent on topics about that from this point forward. I don't want that to hurt me. I don't want that to hurt the company. I don't want to make anybody look bad. I don't want to make myself look bad. So that's basically how this is going to go from this point on. I want to have a professional relationship with GameStop and like I said before, I am very excited to join them. So the last thing that I'm going to say, guys, is that my Xbox 360 collection, for the amount of games that are in it, 
it is tied with my original Xbox collection. So they both are at 80 games exactly right now. Uh, it's pretty funny. I would have had 81 games in the 360 if I didn't put one down last second. But whatever it is, um, it's pretty fucking cool to know that I actually do have tied a tied collection between the 360 and the original Xbox. Who knows which one is going to hit 100 first at this point, because now that they're tied, anything can happen. I am going to predict that the 360 will probably hit 100 first. I don't know. It really depends what kind of mood I'm in, and it also depends on how my spending goes, if I save a lot, you know. Uh, so, it really all depends based off of that, but I'm going to end this video with this, guys. Um... Thank you all for watching this video, and like I said before, I'm very excited to start working with GameStop. I am also very excited to continue growing my collection even further, so thank you guys for watching once again. I will see you all in the next video.